Yo, good morning, Flood Fam. How are you doing? Well, you know, uh, we had a discussion uh, last night on the WhatsApp group, and uh, <clears throat> it was fun. You know, the, the, it's always nice, and it continued uh, a little bit, but the point was raised that how important is Flat Earth now? You know, with all the Corona bullshit going on. And honestly, um, is there any importance to anything when it does not uh, involve you? You know, I, it might sound like a selfish prick right now, but it's like... Um, Back in, in, let's say, the 80s, you know, before internet, or the 50s, before TV, how much importance was it? What happened on the other side of the world, you know? And how much important was it, what was happening in, you know, just a few countries over. It wouldn't affect you that much, because you wouldn't care about it. And you wouldn't have the information, you wouldn't have conflicting information. Because you just get what they are telling you. And now we are able to you disseminate information and get a different picture than what the usual channels would have provided. Um, let's say you got, you were dependent on the media, the journalism, the educational systems and government. And now, you are dependent on yourself. So, how, how, how do things impact on you? You know, um, I can worry a lot about a lot of things. Um, back when I grew up, we had the Afghan war going on, you know, the, the media was hyping it with uh, the Red Scare, you know, Cold War rhetoric. And all I cared about in what I saw was the freaking helicopter being blown up. I didn't even realize there were people in it. But I love helicopters and I love planes, so, you know, that touched me. And it's the same with anything, you know, if it doesn't touch you, if it doesn't get to you, of how much importance is it then? And why bother? You know, that's kind of the, the globe mentality thought about you know, flat earth and the globe. Because why bother what someone else believes, you know? It's their freedom, their choice, if it is a choice, but hell, it's a choice for them to find out, right? Um, and the same goes with uh, the corona scare. I try to inform people about what I know and the papers I see and I try to give them the conflicting information that's given by the same sources, you know. Education tells you that viruses are dead matter and dead matter doesn't reproduce, so how does the virus reproduce, you know. If it's not a living entity, so it doesn't have reproductive system. So it doesn't reproduce. 
it's basically that and you cannot spread it because you know if it spreads then it's out of your body and then basically you don't have um, that part of your immune system because you know uh, it should be catalogued and if your immune system is working then you're breaking down the virus and you cannot spread it because it's broken down in small bits and pieces there the point is I'm not a biologist I'm not a geologist or an astronaut I'm just analyzing their own contradictions and they can make up anything but it's important for everyone to see how they're being duped and you can see that in their contradictions and I don't know how to explain it easier but we gotta we, we know the importance of truth because you know we understand that when government gets away with a lie other people get exploited or killed that's just how history runs right now we see the same shit going on that happened in the middle ages with the inquisition this is ramping up to a similar effect well we also gotta remember that during that time the government you know and I say that in the broadest way possible um, changed the world view you know they wanted from flat biblical and theological flat world to a scientism globe world you know that happened in the same period of time during the inquisitions you know uh, it was a direct result of that so and that's how our government remains in power because in the early days the, the let's say the the three free thinkers that are written down as heretics in history books were prosecuted and now they are revered for giving us us the globe and the same is with you know uh, pretty much everything in history so if you have a basic understanding of history and apply some critical thought and lay down some parallel uh, to the here and now of a you know not emotional attached viewpoint because that's where where we all get suckered in you know our emotions our ego uh, you know will it hurt me does it affect me that's how they you know shuffle the ground right underneath your feet you know and it's kind of easy to forget that um, when they give you something you still have to be critical you know you, you do look a gifted horse in the mouth regardless and you should always do that because no one is giving you anything for free no knowledge no nothing and you know that's why you have to keep with the basics because the more they give you the more they screw with you because you are in depth you know uh, they own you that's kind of what they are selling <laughs> and 
people are grabbing it as if it's latest fashion. <clears throat> anyway, it's early morning. I'm still drinking my first cup of coffee and I love you very much. So keep doing what you're doing and keep a smile. You know, that, that keeps you warm and it keeps your chairs up. Yeah, you know, you need to feel the light, as in some things, you know, the, the in the end, a lot of shit is just statistics that you cannot even verify. So, enjoy, um, have a nice day, you know, it has been two nice sunny days here in Holland, and maybe it will be... Uh, another sunny day and if you can go go outside even if limited get some sunlight get some fresh air it's healthy for you